Hi, my name is Sam Higman, and I will be talking about metamorphosis today. Okay, so meta actually means change, and morph means shape or forms, and that is the reason we call it metamorphosis for books, because they shape, take shape and form. What is metamorphosis? Metamorphosis, metamorphosis is, according to Merriam-Webster, metamorphosis is a typically marked and more or less abrupt developmental change in the form or structure of an animal, occurring subsequently to birth or hatchling. Now, most of you are familiar with frogs and butterflies. Here is just a picture of the life cycle of a butterfly and a frog. Now, do people go through metamorphosis? While well, it is true that we do change size, we do not actually change form. Human beings are from the birth, so from the time of conception, are always the same, are always the same shape. They will always, but they grow in size. Insects, how insects, however, do actually change form. Types of metamorphosis. Not all metamorphosis is the same. Now there's two types of metamorphosis. The incomplete metamorphosis, which has three stages, the egg, nymph, and adult, and the complete metamorphosis, which has four stages, the egg, larvae, pupa, and adult, such as butterflies, and the three stage actually has three mantises on here. Here are some insect orders, which this is, this. If you don't get all of these, then if you don't remember all these, this is in my handout. The incomplete metamorphosis has grasshoppers and crickets, praying mantises, cockroaches, earwigs, dragonflies and damselflies, stick insects, termites, sucking lice, and mayflies. Animals that go through a complete metamorphosis are beetles, flies, ants, bees, and hornets and wasps. Butterflies and moths, scorpion flies, alder flies and dope flies, and fish flies. Lacewing and ant lions, snake flies, fleas, twisting wing parasites, and caps flies. I have a question for you. <laughs> Which type of metamorphosis do you think has the greatest advantage? Okay, so nobody wants to take a step at it. Take a step at it. <laughs> Good, got a 50 50 chance. Take a guess. You want to guess, Tor? The complete. Okay. Advantages of the complete metamorphosis. Is she right or wrong? She is actually right. There are an unbelievable amount of insects in the world, and they're all competing for food. And it's not only competing with different species, but also the same species. And the advantage of the complete metamorphosis, the, the larvae is supposed to eat and grow, and the adult is supposed to reproduce. Adult, uh, and there's no, and with the Incomplete, there is actually some competition between the nymph and the adult. And the diversification, this diversification in the complete actually helps in the predators because if you have the worm, some things eat the worm and some things eat the butterfly. Parasites. Nearly all insects are infected by parasites at one point in their life. They lay insects, they lay eggs inside the insect's body. When the egg hatches, it actually will eat the insect, insect from the inside out. In the end, the parasite does kill the insect. Some parasites attack adults, but others attack the larvae and pupa. 
first, uh, parasites also often have specific hosts. Like the mosquito, it normally infects animals and humans. Which, do you think parasites are friends or foes? No, Troll, you're not. Because you know all the answers. Yes, Dave. Your garden is actually happy to have them because uh, include the parasitic wasp, as, as you just saw, when it sinks and when it lays eggs on the worms, it kills the worms and it eventually kills the insect. Nothing is eating your vegetables. All right, thank you for all for listening to my presentation. Does anybody have any questions? Now, of course, she's handing out her pamphlet. And all these things are Miriam Webster's where I got all these resources.